It's my microphone. I'll click my microphone on there. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, but hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today is the 1st of October. It's very cosy here. I've put on this massive cosy jumper. Got it in um, from Matalad actually. Look at this. I think it was £12 but then I had a 20% off and it worked out to be less than £10. Bargain. I got it in size 22 so it's really big but look it has this big pocket for snacks. I usually get one in Tesco. Didn't have any. Don't know what's going on. Got my coffee. My whole house smells like coffee. Had the coffee machine on. It's a marshmallow toasted and vanilla coffee or something. Got my Halloween muglet. Happy on one side. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, I'm so thrilled to be here. Mm, that's good coffee. And I just, I can't believe it. I've even got my cosy socks on for the occasion. I'm going to show them to you. Look. From Primark, these are brand new. Brand new on today for the occasion. So we're going to do some decorating. I'm not actually going to be here for most of October, which is really sad. Um, and I wasn't going to decorate. But then today I've woken up. It's so gloomy outside. It's pouring down with rain. I put my cozies on. I'm like, you know what? I need some Halloween decor now. So we're in this room, which is Tommy's gaming room. You've probably never seen this room before um, because I don't ever show it. <laughs> but this is Tommy's room. And in here we have this giant cupboard built-in cupboard above the stairs and this is what I like to call the decor cupboard of doom because it's full to the brim <laughs> but this looks crazy but honestly we don't use the attic because I'm a bit of a hoarder let me just show you in here like I, can you even see in there look frosty the frank is way up there all the way to the ceiling I should probably put a light on. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's a bit orange. Please excuse that. But this is where we keep all of our Christmas decorations. Um, Halloween decorations and anything like that, you know, just random stuff. Oh, look, it's Stein, the Christmas elf. We've got nutcrackers. And yeah, we've got like old consoles and stuff. It's just basically what we'd use as attic storage, but we don't use the attic because, like I said, I'm a bit of a hoarder. And if I have any more space than this, I will fill it up. Like if it doesn't fit in here, I can't keep it. If I don't like something, I'll either resell it, donate it to charity, or just like if it's one of my crafts, sometimes I put it on, you know, my Etsy store, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff out, take it down to the living room, and I just sort of show you that, because lots of people ask where I store my stuff, and that's where. <laughs> Okay, so I got this box out. Um, there was another big one in there, but it was literally underneath some like computer bits that I was like, I cannot take that out. I thought those computer like parts were empty, those boxes, but they weren't. So let's have a little look what we're dealing with. I think this is the best box anyway, a nice little touch. Um, I'm missing my big wooden cap for out there. I have a big, like, Joanna Parker-inspired wooden cat. Um, but we'll find it. I'll put a picture on the screen of what I mean. Um, so, yeah, the wreath. I made this um, maybe last year, year before. I don't know. I think it's gorgeous. Got these little ghosts on. It's a really, really thick wicker um, wreath, which I thrifted. This little guy, I'm pretty sure, was Home Bargains. He's just a little candle melt. Look at this one. Potpourri, little guy. Stinks a little bit bad because like the old potpourri is still in it. I should probably throw that away, but I just haven't. Um, this pumpkin was a DIY one from my pumpkin tutorial. Like I have a fa fabric pumpkin tutorial, which I'm really, really happy with. I've definitely made some changes to my fabric pumpkin making recently. So n who knows? I might do an updated one of them maybe next year now. Um, I keep feeling like I'm running out of time because I'm going away so soon. Um, and it's a really throwing a spanner in the works, even though I prepared a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, the wooden candy corns. Anyone remember when I made these? These are perfect. I also have these little guys, which I DIY. DIY will be coming. Of these little, like, vintage inspired ghosts. Got a little styling way of putting these in with, like, some baby's breath. I think that'll be gorgeous. This hedgehog doorstop. He's, like, been a bit beaten up because Roman thought he was a toy once. And, um, yeah, he's got a few holes in. See, he's back already. It's like, give her to me. 
Um, poor thing. But it's so autumnal. My mum bought me this for Christmas one year and I've had it for so long ever since. You stay away. Stay away, mister. <laughs> you get so excited. Mind your tail on that candle. Um, have this bat, which again was a DIY, this little vintage spider bat. Look at his bat. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Um, we've got these signs, which I made. I feel like 90% of my decor is now like DIY decor. It's just how I like things. Like I make them to what I like, you know? Uh, we've got a Hello Autumn and a Hey Pumpkin. I usually switch these out from like my autumn decor to my Halloween, October 31st. That's a good one. Then these little guys were um, a hobby craft last year. We've got a Poundland Pom Pom Garland. I love this. I don't know, it's just a pound, but it's so good. What's in here? Oh, these are my glass pumpkin lights. I got these from TK Maxx, but they've got a few broken ones on now, so I tend not to put them out, but I just love them. Maybe putting them into a vase or something. And then just some little ceramic pumpkins in there as well. So I think that's a good bunch. Let's get this stuff out and about, shall we? Look at this little ghost. <gasps> oh, I love a little ghost. Where's Wooden Ghosty? I think I lost him last year, then ended up finding him in the Christmas decor. Um, or maybe he's in the cupboard over there. We'll check that. We'll put this stuff out and um, we'll see what we're working with. Jim? Looks a bit shit. Cute. Well, do you know what? I'm loving this cozy jumper. So over here at the fireplace, um, I've got Clarence, a little pumpkin um, dude. And then I got this little um, farm fresh pumpkin signs. I made a few of these. I was going to put them on my Etsy store. Never got round to it. Maybe I still will. I don't know. I made like four of them at the same time that I made that one because there's no point in me just making the one. But I wanted one and <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd put this little pom pom garland up. This is actually two joined together. I've got little not in the middle there, I didn't realise. I'm going to put that up, I think. And then I have this little mini bat garland as well. Was just going to do the bat garland, but I think I just want some colour in here. Just for like the orange cosy vibes, you know. So, going to put this up just with some sellotape. Can't find the end. This is like really strong sellotape. It's just Wilco brand, but I really like this one. So I'm just going to sticky tape them. I've had enough with command strips. They've ruined my walls too much and I've given up with them. So sellotape is... Oh, okay, that's too cute. Right, mini bat garland. I want the bat one to be like flat across with the, just the pom-poms draping. Oh, I've put it on the wrong way around. Back to front. Okay, there we go. Spread out the bats. All right. Cute. Bats and pom-poms! I really like these three pumpkins together, all different textures. Do you see? I've got one like really woolly one, one little thing, and one little hessian one. And also, I want to put this ghost out. So, I think I want to put stuff by the TV unit down here. I don't want to put anything up here, maybe over there, like a little tiny bit. But I mean, when it comes to TVs, Tommy gets annoyed if I put anything on the unit. He's like, I can't see bits of the TV, or it gets in the way of the remote control bit. So, I've, I've been told not to do that. That's the only thing I ever get told not to do. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, look how cute that is. And then it just doesn't work, does it? Like, you can't see the TV. You can't read subtitles or something. But I do have this shelf down here where the Xbox lives and everything like that. So we will just put a few bits down here. Why not? Look, we can just put them on there. See? Look, adorable. Another little pumpkin there. Just, just put pumpkins out. If you want to decorate for Halloween, just put pumpkins out got this guy from decorating the other day i'm gonna put him in the window you won't see that because i don't like showing out my window um ghosty boy that is not for you baby um i'm just gonna put him on the door handle little ghosty guy i could put it on the exercise bike but probably the door handle oh you're right buddy do you have an itchy face raymond look at you getting all the carpet all hairy again yeah, we only hoovered that earlier, didn't we? Yeah, you keep rolling around. Rolling around. Like a big funny boy you are. Look at him, he's going all grey. Look, you see all his chin. He's going all grey. you got a grey moustache, haven't you? 
Yeah. He's only, I think he's four now. Or maybe five. No, I think he's four. Are you four? Are you four? Okay, doing a little um, ghosty DIY. I thought I'd just like put some baby's breath and stuff in here. I've been drying this out for a little while now. Um, probably like two, three weeks. It's not quite there yet, but it's almost there. I hate, like, I love the look of this stuff. I hate the smell. Like, I don't get how anyone likes the smell of this. So I'm just going to pop it out, bend it up a bit, make it look a bit better and put these little guys in there. I don't know why I wanted to do this. Maybe I saw something like this on Pinterest or something. I don't know. But I'll just sort of put these ghosts in it. Make a nice little spooky. Oh, yeah, look! My ghosts! I could definitely do a bit better arranging like this, make it look a bit fuller. But I just wondered, like, the ghosts were kind of in and around. Oh, that's so cute. Just like a little simple. <laughs> now, that doesn't look that cute on camera, but promise, in real life, it's adorable. Oh, I love it. Yes, how am I going to keep that? down like that put little tags on there one says happy halloween and one says boo oh so cute lost a few flowers but that's okay we just chuck them back in get back in there <laughs> oh that's adorable look at this oh that's so cute i really like that so i'm gonna put that over on the sideboard i think keep this out the way of the dog do all the dog eating the flowers. Okay, so I'm outside of my living room and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I tell you what, I'm gonna go on my phone actually and show you what it looks like on my phone. I think it's just be easier. So I'm gonna show you all the little touches. Nothing groundbreaking, but I'm really, really happy with the little touches considering I'm not gonna be here for Halloween and most of the autumn kind of October festivities. But yeah, I'll just show you what I did. Okay, so you come in and just around the corner here is the mirror on the side table. We have just a couple of air fresheners there, like ignore those. Actually, one of these is really, really nice. It's this cinnamon pumpkin one. Oh, so good. We've got a jar down here full of the little pumpkins, the micro ones, which I did a DIY on. The home bugs thing, we've got some scarecrows over here. The lights turned out really, really nicely, actually. I've just like filtered them in with a few ceramic pumpkins and then like these little wooden acorns, which again was a DIY that I did not that long ago. And I've put a candle in the cookie jar and I've put like the little thing in there. So in real life, without the lights on, it's like that. And then with the lights on, we've got a nice glow. Isn't that so nice? And yeah, I've just put the battery pack in there, put the lid back on, and you don't really see it too much, you know? Just tuck it all in behind. Perfect. Up here, we have the ghost wreath, which I am loving, it's so cute. Um, down here, we've got the wooden candy corns with the um, wax burner. And then I've just stuck the bat up there. A lonely little bat, really. But, you know, he'll do over there. I'm in background to, like, where my safe is. Um, I just have a pineapple lamp on there, as usual. And the only thing that I added was the October 31st and the little potpourri kind of um, mini pumpkin stack. It's so cute and so nice in real life. Um, but there's that. Then spinning round, we've got an orange pillow out, this new throw, which is so nice. Like, can you see that? Oh, so nice. Look, oh, it's gorgeous. My mum got me that for my birthday. She asked me what I wanted. I was like, I need a new throw. So yeah, over to the fireplace. I put the pom-pom garland up with the bats. I think that's just a bit of fun. Like, I love that. Then obviously the little pumpkin sign down there and Clarence the pumpkin dude. Down here by the little kind of like fireside set, I also have this wooden ghost, which I did on a DIY quite a while ago. The TV set here, we just have the little pumpkins down there, nothing groundbreaking. Again, in the middle here, ignore the mess on the floor, sorry. Um, I have just like this little pumpkin, which was a DIY, and then obviously the pumpkin can that's been burning away. It's on a Spider-Man comic. And then, like I said, what I was going to do with the little ghosty in the vase thing, I've actually put that in the window because it looks really nice. I don't want to show you the window because I don't want to show my garden and stuff. 
Um, but I'll take a picture and hopefully put that on screen now because I think it looks really, really nice and I'm really happy with it. If I do a picture that way, I can kind of censor everything that's in it and it's just going to be a not nicer. But yeah, I'm very happy with how that's turned out. Obviously, like I said, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's just a nice little touch. It's getting me in the cozy spirit. You know, I'm looking around, there's pops of orange everywhere. There's like the candles out. I've got like those little lights over there. I just think it's so nice. Um, nothing too crazy, but I'm very happy with it. I think it's like kind of just like a little bit minimal, a little bit tasteful. I don't know. I think it's nice. So that's gonna be it. I think for Christmas, I'm gonna go all out. Um, you know, if budgets prevail. <laughs> Awful time right now, isn't it? Especially in the UK. We won't get into it, but oh my dear god um yeah hopefully i'm still gonna be putting out a few bits around the house i'm hoping to put up the pumpkin banner on my stairs which i've done in previous years i'll leave that link down in the description as well the tutorial on that that turned out so nicely i've still got that and then obviously the um big wooden cat as well hopefully we'll get that guy out before we leave as well so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed this video thank you for hanging out with me this morning i hope you've had a wonderful day and let me know if you've been decorating if you've got all out for halloween this year if you've done little touches like i have um maybe send me over some pictures on instagram loads of people send me their pictures and i really enjoy looking through them so yeah thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you very soon for another video bye